Hello guys, while looking at filament documentation for tables, I found summaries with only one screenshot and all the other features are listed in the code, but it's not clear what happens after you set some parameter or function. So in this video, I decided to show you that in action with a lot of summarizers on a demo page partially created by AI, but with these features visual, and you will see how actually powerful summarizers are in filament. Let's dive into the examples. So here I have a table of products zoomed in a little bit so you would see better, but I will scroll up and down. And first simple example of summarizing the column number is units in stock. So just to show this number, which is a sum of that column values, all you need to do is in the text column add summarize and then sum make and perhaps you may want to customize the label. That's it. And then automatically it shows actually two rows, this page and all products as well. Next example, there may be multiple summarizers for one column, for example, price, average and total value. So for that, we scroll up to the price column, which is divided automatically by 100 because in the database, the price is saved in cents. It's even in the column name. So yeah, two summarizers as array and you can see other summarizers here like average and sum. And also with that, you can format the summarizers with money and again, customize the label. The next feature of summarizers without even showing the code, I will show you their feature that they react to filters. So for example, if we filter out, for example, category like automotive, like low stock, apply filters. Okay, nothing here. Apply filters. And as you can see, the numbers will be adjusted according to that specific category. You don't need to change anything else here. So if we scroll down to the filters of that table, there's nothing about summarizers in the filters themselves. It just works automatically. And also same thing with the search. So if I search, for example, for name that exists in the table, the summarizers, as you can see, are adjusted automatically. So they react not only to filters which are in the URL, but also to the search by column. And now let's get to more complicated examples. So in another table orders, there's a column called total. And then down below, you see this four summarizers for the same column. Two of them are pretty standard and then other ones are more interesting. So we have some we have average again with money, but then this is custom summarizer. So you can do summarize or make using and then a callback function. And in this case, the formula is total minus platform fee minus discount and minus refunded. So basically the formula using the same column values from the main table. So this is the net revenue. And also in another custom summarizer, here's an example where even cloning the query to add other conditions and also handling edge cases. If we have zero paid, then we'll return just not applicable. And the result of that is the fourth summarizer in that column fulfilled. And the best part of that custom summarizers is that they also react to filters. For example, one of the filters is, let me check, there should be, yeah, fulfilled, for example. If we apply that filter, then fulfilled should be 100% exactly. So it works with custom summarizers as well. The next example, summarizers are not just for numbers like average or sum. For example, we have a table with tickets and label priority column, and we can calculate something like this. So the amount of tickets on this page or in total by priority. And this is the column. In this case, we're using enum. Ticket priority is an enum like this. And then we can use that enum with custom query, query builder. So we have five summarizers. First, count make, general count make without any filters. And then separately, filter with different enum value with count summarizers counting the data. With that, one tip. If you put the summarizer as the first column of your table, that would not work because the first column is reserved for those labels of this page and all tickets. And in that case, you will not get any error. You would just see that the summarizer doesn't work and you wouldn't know why. So let me show you, for example, if we don't show ticket ID in this table and we refresh that table, we have that priority here, but we don't see summarizer because it's overridden by those labels. So keep in mind that the first column is 
reserved for not being used for summarizing. But if we go back to this summary working, we can also use filter here. So for example, priority is normal. And if we apply the filters, then as you can see, it is filtered here automatically with zero values for other priorities. Also, if we go back to custom summarizers, you can be very creative with pretty complex queries here. So for example, average first response in minutes is calculated with MySQL function with raw queries, timestamp diff, minute, two columns from the database, and then the result is average first response. Similar in summarizer with first response percentage calculation that includes raw query of MySQL. Of course, be careful with raw queries because those operations may be different in MySQL, SQLite, or other database drivers. So double check with your database driver. Another example will be with relationships, eloquent relationships. So in a table vendors, there's a column sales last 30 days with total of sales for all vendors. So here's the code. In the column itself, we have this state making the database query, but also in the summarizer. In the custom summarizer using, we can take the data from clone query ID. So we have vendor IDs and we may have our own summary with totally different or the same. It depends database query with eloquent. And it may look like you're duplicating the same scenario, but actually if you perform custom query and you try to summarize that with just some make like this with some here on top, if we try it out, the result will be SQL error because there is no column like this to summarize because, well, that column doesn't exist in the database. It's a custom calculated value. So for that case, you need to do custom summarizer and then that table would be calculated with this summary at the bottom. But also kind of as a final tip in this lesson outside of summarizers to avoid n plus one query problem with too many queries to the database. You may do something like this instead of calculating that in the summary and in the columns, especially for repeating calculations. So instead of summarizing that at the column, you may eager load that with not just with, but with some specifically. And then you do have that column sales last 30 days in the same table. And then you can just use it like this text column make with label. And here, as you can see, there is no calculation in state. We're just formatting that to money and also summarize become regular, normal, sum make. And in Laravel debug bar, we see only two queries. In fact, one query select vendors with select sum as a sub query, instead of having a query for each of the vendor, which happens below. So this is another column payouts by vendor ID. And this is the calculation that is made here. So in the text column state, making the calculation for payouts causes n plus one query. Instead, you can move payouts again to the modify query using eager loading the payouts with just latest and limits one. Then you have payouts here. And then down below in the column, it becomes last payout status like this. And then in Laravel debug bar below, we have only 10 queries instead of 19. Also using one SQL query like this with row number under the hood, but not executing SQL query for each row. So yeah, these were practical examples of summarizers in the filament docs. I hope now it is more clear to you how it actually works and looks. And if you have any questions or maybe you disagree with something in my code, let's discuss all of that in the comments below. And if you want more practical filament examples, typically in the videos on YouTube, I remind you of our filamentexamples.com with a lot of examples, including summarizers sometimes, but much more than that. Everything is on filamentexamples.com under membership, which allows you the access to the repository with all those projects with both the code and the readme with tutorials about how they actually work. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.